Zachariah's had his title. No, he hasn't. As he hits the ground, the students, uh, seeming no longer to hold themselves back, begin to move uh, towards you. Very <gasps> strong. Oh, yes. Cash acts first. I think we should knock them out as well. Yeah, or are, are they good? Certainly. It is. Yes, uh, the they're good. Okay, because the detect good was like a cone, and I probably would have hit a couple of them with it. So, it goody. Good. My good smites can come out here, but I won't. Uh, do, does does Marcus scream this or similar information to the rest of us? I mean, they're no. moving towards. We probably just murder them anyway. Yeah, Marcus just uh, remains silent. Because if they actually move on us, well, then all bets are off. Cash? So better, better <laughs> off what? They had they had at least better avoid me. I mean, I just like single-handedly ruined their master. Oh God! I, I mean, Manica, I assume they're actually acting. We actually actually see them acting against. Us they now. begin to move against you, yeah, and like yell out, uh, "For telling God, what? Really? This is insufferable." <laughs> well, now you have reason to kill. Uh... You look at them, they appear to be clean and probably noble sons. Wait. Uh, but this is just. I, I, am I the only one feeling this is kind of a waste of, of our time? Yeah, just kill them off. Yeah. Okay, fine. Be easy. Come on. We could, <laughs> yeah. we could just turn around and leave. Nah. We could have done that with the bugbears, but I mean. Well, we, we, need, we need to prove that. Oh. Just flame breath them, get it over with. Okay. Um, well, so in that case, that's 10d6 damage you're going to do in a cone. Uh, the cone is 30 feet long, so you can do like that. Oh, cool. You'll do that then. Uh, they need to make a DC 21 reflex save. Alright. All damage. How much was it? 10d6. Thirty-four. Oh, for this thirty. I also roll a D four. Time. Oh yeah. It can be used again next turn. Ah, <coughs> uh, cash will. No, let's I'll chill just stay I don't think he really needs to take this seriously. He moves in here. Thanks. Attacking uh Miss Attacking Cashier. How can he what does You share spaces with your mount when you're on the if, oh. If you're okay. on your mount, you, you're on all four square spaces as far as it's concerned. Okay. Sure. Tax the grass. You seem to have been giving up on the idea of honor. Hmm. Oh, clearly And the idea of attacking me, apparently. Nine damage. Oh, what's. What's that? Did you make a. How does that guy feel? He was hit. He was. Tax cash. Oh, uh, one hit for six damage. Yeah. Here, tax like rise as well. Mm -hmm. it's like uh, it's like Two young men are, th are stabbing at him with rapiers, <laughs> hitting his uh, ethereal death shield. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, oh, what a bother everything is. Well, let's see here. Oh, I forgot to heal myself from the past healing. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Zacharias will move here. 
So I take some opportunity. Sure. Miss. One hit. Goes in, goes into the death shield. Uh, once he's here, he will cast Cone of Cold. Right. Like so. Oof. Um, That's a big cone. Yes. Yes, it is. You know, as the void itself fuels his power to freeze these idiots and destroy them completely. <laughs> uh, they will need to do reflex saves, a DC 24. Alright. Cold freezes them. They're nimble as they are, the arcane might of Zacharias still seems to best them. Oh, well, well, hold on, hold on. I have a minor. All right. Uh, no, you don't. You have a I will call that move action. action and a swift action. What? You don't have a minor action. You have a move and a swift action. Yeah, whatever. Minor actions don't exist in this version. So, I, 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 I don't care what any of you say. I we can fireball or cold ice strike. <laughs> uh, you know, classic fireball like this. Um, a quicken one. So, f so f flash frost combined with flash fire. Yep. First, the uh, uh, DC twenty one. Yes, twenty one. All right. Oh, that's, oh, that's a cute DC for fireballs. It's oh. quickened. Yeah, and, but it's not DC twenty three. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> shut your butt, DDS. 34. Could you describe what this whole move looks like? Well, they charge up Zacharias, stabbing at him. Zacharias isn't really moving. He's just standing there, you know, all cold and serene as they stab into his, uh, his uh, void shield, basically. Seemingly, they think that they take like big gashes out of him, but nothing really happens. The weapon just, you know, moves through him, and then he casually, you know, so swiftly uh, move backwards. His, uh, uh, his, you know, cloak and coat again, billowing like the wings of a raven. You know, and someone stabs at him, but d again, does nothing. He then turns around, you know, uh, on his heel, basically throws out a hand and a wave of terrifying black cold basically you know, streams out hitting them and uh, hurting them quite a lot as in the very blood in their veins are being freezed while this is happening his other hand uh, now upturned a spark uh, above the palm quickly turns into a moat of flame that he tosses towards them and in the mid-air it you know, start roiling and roaring to a fireball exploding in the middle of the, uh, you know, as as soon as the cold ends, uh, it hits, engulfing them in terrible hellfire. Sure. This guy retreats. Bah. This one has nothing of this too either. Ten degrees. <laughs> well, I think Horace will get an attack opportunity. Mm-hmm. Horace is mm -hmm. Bite his legs off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Double twenty. Oh, that could be nineteenth actually. Oh, you, the poor how boy. How crit on nineteenth as well? Good mm -hmm. They improve critical. I, I should know I built them. <laughs> yeah. I made them. They are mine. Look what he did. He tries to run away. Horace just turns and, you know, rips his back to pieces. Chiron. Well, Chiron just raised an eyebrow at the young lynx trying to attack Zacharias and is currently busy leaning against the wall. And as it turns out, it's rather hard to get into a comfortable position 
leaning against the wall with giant wings on his back, so he's not going to bother to move. So he's not going to do anything. Alright. So why bother? He's going to retreat as well. He has gil he's, uh, carry us Gilair, set the last student Marcus? in front of him. <laughs> mm, Basically. Marcus, well, uh... Kind of spit on the ground at this guy's, like in front of this guy, and just kind of walk this way. Taking a glance at this guy oh, uh, off to his left and just deciding, you know, why not? Have a a, little, they're little nobles, so, you know, have a little bite, maybe. Mm, bah. I've already had my fill of the nobility from this town. Ding, 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 ding. Marcus doesn't drink from low nobility anymore. Oh, that's four oh I see. Okay, so just just the first one, so just so, twenty six. So he's a venture, right? That's that's the crit, <laughs> the first one. The first one is a crit. So yeah, twenty. Uh, Let's have a twenty four damage. Yeah, another twenty four, so fifty. In total. You need to pay attention to when you're critical. Serious? <laughs> Is my name long enough for you? Um, You've changed. I put just. I just put mine in my label, so it doesn't take up. The yeah, I'll. I'll go ahead and change that in a second. Um, but anyway, Azura shall ride out of the gate. Sure. Um, we'll look down to that guy there, and we'll actually cast a new spell on him. Ooh. <gasps> as as almost just this, this eerie feeling of dark, dark. In just like darkness and sadness, kind of fills the air, and all you hear me say is the is the name Elana. As um, he needs to make me a will save. Uh, DC. Is this is this the remorse save? DC twenty three. Saves. Oh, fails. 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 In that case, for the next for the next uh, thirteen round, he will deal one d eight point plus. Plus strength modified damage to himself with his own attacks. Yes, terrible remorse. Right. Yep, as he's just filled with the absolute sadness and guilt within Azurus's heart, causing him to just to start ripping himself to pieces. It's the emo spell. <laughs> right. Oh, that is really a saber. The young spell. man looks completely and totally destroyed, devastated, raising his weapon and uh, and turning it towards himself. Cool. I, I approve of this. Oh, this is this is so terrible. Cash, we are the worst people. Oh, we really are. You oh, are having, the worst people. I'm Kyra, having none of regrets. Yeah. I I don't fly. I don't even really know why I attacked to begin with. Yeah, you can bite this guy with you can have your hellhound bite that guy. So yeah. Nom nom nom. Thirty one damage. Oh, I almost missed. He rolled like a three, didn't he? Something like that. Mm. Actually, he rolled a he. he yes, he did roll a three. All right. This one runs. Of course. This that one, I suppose. He's gonna keep attacking himself. Doesn't care to run, because why would he? The world is a horrible place, and he does not wish to be there anymore. Yep. The grass. It's like grass. starts leaning up. against the wall again, look, looking down, and is like, Ugh, do I have to do anything? No, not really. It's like grass. He just. Uh, he's done. Does anyone wish to do anything? We, we can probably declare combat over because he's just going to rip himself to pieces. Yeah, now. combat, combat. You just, just watch just that guy. <laughs> he has 12 rounds of dealing 1d8 damage to himself, so... Oh. Oh. It takes time. Well, well, this if is I was on, evil, I would well. enjoy this very much. You are evil, luckily enough. Well, while that guy's doing that to himself, Marcus <laughs> will come over and uh, scoop up this guy's unconscious body and kind of... Bring it with me back this way. Does the school like looking over it? Does it seem to have any like we can we can spend a little bit going through the lo the the place see if they have any like money and resources or stuff we can plunder. He did mention bombs. The bombs. The yeah, we should either loot and or disarm the bomb. Well, we should probably do and probably disarm, disarm the bombs. 
I should look around. It pretty much is like a stone walls uh, with sand in the middle. That's all there is? There he has a fancy sign. Oh. Sign outside is very fancy. So there, there isn't like a, a fancy script. There isn't like a door that says office on it. Uh, not that you can see, no. He doesn't appear to have an office. Oh, wow. Perhaps yeah. Rodrigo doesn't need an office. Oh, okay, of course. Well, he is his own office, no doubt. Mm hmm. Wherever he go, he, he's the business. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my. <laughs> I Vela guess. Vela's going to walk up looking at the body you're holding. Yeah, Zacharias will shrug and then float out. Leaving this, uh, well, sandy place. Well, we could explore about a bit. Because if it's a school, it might have like an armory and... Coffers full of money. That's kind of what I asked. Then Malachi said it was just this round place and nothing more. Well, yeah, in this Pretty much room, what you I can guess. see here. It's That's open like to the sky. And it's sort of just stone with sand thrown sort of on it. There's like yeah. three ways that we can't really see. Yeah, but they lead out. They lead out? Okay. Not main exit, main entrances, but. Oh well. Well, the guys will float up and you know, look around. If there's any obvious buildings connected to this arena, we'll, we'll take a look in them. Otherwise, we can just you know, leave this place. It doesn't seem to be any anything fancy in the arena itself, unless it has the bombs on the floor, which I'm not totally convinced it has. I think it was just a metaphor. Yeah, probably. <laughs> You think he just misspoke and meant to say, I'm the bomb? Yeah. Here, <laughs> here comes the boom. Then, then we sure. find out there's 700 uh, tons of gunpowder. So, uh, you, uh, could, you, could one of you roll a d20 for me? I got it. Okay. Eight. Eight, you say? How many copper parts? Um, Eight bombs. On the way out, the guys will recast uh, false life on himself. Right. Yeah. Go out. And uh, do you wish to stay and loot this quarter? We might as well. Yeah, we might as well. Let's loot. Sure. Why did we even do this? It was a because fancy was sign. Because there was a fancy sign. Of course, we're going in. Fancy sign. It you know, said someone didn't even do. You know, maybe we were hoping we'd get something. You know, decent. We were wrong. Huh. Well, we got him. Uh, I don't know Marcus if he's decent. Marcus had some fun. Well, actually, Marcus was just disappointed. Don't forget to pick up your armor and put that on again. Yeah. Well, I was holding his armor. Yeah, Marcus. So. Misery had said it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that guy. Lying no, no, I, I said that I picked him up and, and yeah. grabbed him, but his okay. body, I can't select it or anything, so. Alright, so we search around, I suppose. Sure. I need a uh, d20 from each of you. What? Uh, this is gonna be good, I can feel it. This is gonna Wait, be we roll dice in this game? Oops. No, it's she, 20. why'd you have to jinx me? Ah, we're the winners! Oh, God. Wow, that's uh, that's Lady Average's stuff. Ten, yes, well. a twelve. All right, could you roll one d six? Sure. Six copper pieces in copper pots. <laughs> Finally. Right. Zagreus finds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Forty golds worth of silks. Oh. Okay, slightly better than comic books. Stored away. They, they, uh, they were left over by Buckbear, so probably didn't care for them. But we will take them, because we need them. Yes. Well, of course, I, 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 need to go to my crafts, I need to go to my craft sewing skill. Lady Cash needs more, I don't know, something. She uses I mean, silk, I'm you, sure. You can certainly leave them. No. Uh, yeah, silk is good, I you know, you never know when you need some silk. Is it spider silk? No, it's, it's silk. No. It's silk though, it's there's no silk produced in Telling Guy. So, spider silk bits are extremely expensive. We need to dig down and open a... You know, I, I hear there's a, there's a new kingdom down there somewhere. Eager huh. to sell silk and stuff. I, 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 I heard that like fruit. 
Yeah. Hmm. You're interested in some lunch, Sakurai. Your greatest teleport can take you anywhere. <laughs> you know, Sakurai's appears in Throne Night. <laughs> oh, you bring you bring us along as guests, right? Yes, I think that that would be a bad idea. But you think you think it might just tear a hole in the campaign? I am Sakurai's wraith. I'm looking for a new tower to stay in. Can you build me one? Would you build Sakurai's a tower if he showed up? No. Well, if he agrees to be a subject of the crown, and <laughs> he he will smile then, of course, in an oddly raspy voice. And then viable. Something it almost sounds like a rattlesnake, you know, sliding through dead leaves and stone. But really, you'd have a human as a subject. I'm disappointed in that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, powerful human. They don't exist. The <laughs> cash is the right mindset. I am talking from Tristan's point of view. That's twice the amount of drow play I get. Can't kill that. Hmm. Okay. Must, must construct additional drow. As <laughs> uh, uh, Marcus, Marcus leaves, uh, Rodrigo oh, begins to uh, to move and such. No. Yeah. Time, your hit points are broken. I know. Would you need it fixed? Sort yes, of uh, hanging over Marcus' shoulder. Um, the man is, I mean, he's fairly heavy, although for Marcus can lift him easily. He sort of uh, 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 My head. You hit it rather strongly. Not even as strong as I could have. Now be quiet. Says, uh, as you say then, if you will do the same, uh, this noise is. Uh, Hurtful. I can walk if you would prefer that. Your weight is nothing to me, and if you walk, you can run. Rodrigo never runs. Your students certainly did. They are dumb boys. You got yourself a boyfriend. But sadly, uh, this yeah. kingdom has very few who are worthy of teaching. Would you prefer to walk? I'm sure it wouldn't do any wonders for your body in your state. Rodrigo likes to walk. Uh, Marcus will set him down, but keep a firm grip on the back of his neck. Kind of thrust him forward and say, walk. Not sure he'll walk. He has no problem walking. You mean well, he takes you. himself to the head? Well, Marcus has got a firm grip, and if he runs, then he won't get far, so... Back to the prison! Oh, what? It is a long time since I've had a true duel. Many here are too afraid of the law. Hmm. Too many here are, uh, dead, as it would seem. Or did you mean Talonguard? Not yes, this kingdom. I came here because dueling was illegal in all the other places I taught. It isn't any uh, any less legal here. It's just that no, everyone that could stop you is dead. Here I have not been punished yet, or meant to be. It always ends with the banishment. The guards can never stop me. So just want to ask me. Rodrigo was the best swordsman in the world. Was. <laughs> but still, you didn't fight too poorly, and I have troops that need training. Looks, I see. Uh, perhaps, if I may, you may have one more. Whatever you used, you seemed to not be harmed by my skills. Something I have not seen before. Perhaps you could teach me, and Rodrigo could once more fight a duel uh, on equal grounds. It's not the kind of skill you can teach. Anything can be taught, I'm sure. Can you teach a man to die and rise? Yes, I cannot, but perhaps someone can. 
Is this going to end like a twilight thing? <laughs> oh god. It's just one, just like one of Jonas' books. <laughs> what do you mean my books? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, Marcus says it's a thought for the future and not for now. It's as you will. Rodrigo will listen to you. You seem worthwhile after all. Hmm. <laughs> he walks without saying more. Yep. He's taking his defeat oddly well. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. He loves you, Marcus. He loves you so well. much. <laughs> that is a big. Man. We're gonna go well, you know. into a, into a, a little cottage in the woods, <laughs> and we're gonna adopt something. And <laughs> well, you know who like can sixteen cats. Who, who can blame yeah. him? Marcus is ravishing. Mm -hmm. Marcus is gorgeous. Hey, he doesn't have my level of charisma yet. Hey, charisma is not just beauty. Maybe I'm more beautiful, but you're more personality or your personality yeah. stronger. You get home to um, to the well, home to the prison. Did they clean up the prison? Who would clean up the prison? Well, we have a lot of people. If you ask them to clean up the prison, they most certainly would try. So it's kind of cleaned, but you know, kind of being the optimum word. Mainly by mainly by clean, they mean they shove everything in one corner, so where it's out of view. I mean, well, I, I imagine they punch that. each other until the <laughs> guy, the lowest in the beating order, does it. Right. Yeah. As I it mean, should be. Well, I mean, we have Hell Knights present, right? Oh, yeah, Sangrise mentions that. Uh, Marcus, you probably uh, come with him tonight with a, with a contingent of Hell Knights uh, to protect the Baroness's mother while she's gone. Hmm. All right. Uh, part, of, part of the deal and stuff. Marcus will assemble uh, twenty <laughs> knights and two of the two of the hippogriff knights, All right? To guard the manor. And I imagine the the other knights are kind of doing exercises or you know being trained or something. Oh, the other ones are yeah. like recently picked up criminals. Yeah, they need to be beaten yeah. so, up right now. Yeah, they're pretty much useless. Has everyone yeah, arrived yet? Uh, pretty much, people are arriving. Basically, daily. take the uh, how so, many of my like actual knights made it? Just the hippogriffs, or yeah, basically, none of the people on foot got out. Right, so I should know. At least they're not here. So oh, is Timmy and and Timmy's here. Yeah, Timmy's in charge of is, training now. Is is Trick here? Now, yes. Well, give me, give me his token, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, give me to him. Hmm? No. Why not? I don't have it around. Oh. <laughs> He's he's here, you know, he, you know he's here, though. You can, you can maybe, yeah. Timmy can be in charge of training, or he can be in charge yeah. of the mansion for now. Actually, uh -huh. yeah. Grumblejack's in charge of training. Timmy's in charge because he, he, that's the kind of shit you'd like. Uh, Timmy's in charge of the uh, manor guards, which I mean, Marcus would just pick like the uh, the best of his his new recruits. Sure. And two hippogriff knights and Timmy to guard the mansion. Sure. Oh, it's Timmy. All the new recruits get a glint in their eye when they're told they need to guard a noble's mansion. Oh, God. Marcus says that if any of them are uh, caught stealing anything, they will be neutered and then killed. We know. Yes. Cash already told them. <laughs> and even if something goes missing while, while they're there, they will all be strung up. Yep. That's one, they... one will be picked as an example before the rest are killed. Yep. So don't steal anything. You're probably going to end very badly for everyone. And don't try to run, because we will find you. Oh, will we ever? Well, Zacharias will find you. Well, Zacharias is the will of the Whispering Lords. <laughs> and Marcus says it's Night Hunter. I don't know if you're the will. I mean, unfortunately for you, um, Marcus's will is better than yours now. <laughs> Boom! Well, not against uh, arcane spells. Um, no, against divine spells. Oh, divine spells, rather. I was yeah. thinking... Oh but yes, Zacharias has to has to be the will because clearly Kyron has the brains. <laughs> um, well, yes, clearly Kyron is the brains of the operation. That twelve intelligence is cute. You've got the lowest intelligence of the whole party. Uh, uh, Zacharias will actually uh, before he goes off uh, in the evening to meet up with the Baroness. He will actually do a quick uh, scry for Isabel. Uh -huh. Wherever she ended up, unless she's uh, here. Isabel. Is currently uh, 
sort of hovering above some farming hills. <laughs> so, <laughs> Zacharias will whisper into his mind, Report, Isabel. Uh, I am nearing where I think Davrin is. The land has changed quite a bit since I've been here last. Zacharias makes a uh, acknowledging grunt and then says, We are south of the city in a, uh, a place called Tendon Gate Prison by the coast. Should be easy enough to find. She not. Looks hmm. around. And, uh, the guys actually, for the first time, uh, sees her eyes. Hmm. The scrying. Okay, Brian can't convey your gaze attacks. Yeah, you know, smiles to himself. Says, you have beautiful eyes, as always, Isabel. Now, we all look forward to your arrival. Yes. And I to arrive. These accommodations are not fitting. Indeed. I feel the pain. Ah. <sighs> Bows deeply. Sigurais so breaks the contact. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, when she arrives, we're going to have a party when she arrives, because everyone is, is who survived the veil is here then, I think. <laughs>